humans, I'm Yo Schiller. Welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. In the previous part, I did two hours worth of side quests, which means in this part, I can continue on with the story. No more side quests for me to do. But before I continue on with the story, I have to tap in my five daily amiibo. This might save me later on. So there's my Link amiibo. Here's my Zelda amiibo. Then I have another Link amiibo, this time based off of the Ocarina of Time model. So boom, there's three amiibo. Then the fourth amiibo I tap in is not a Zelda series amiibo. This is my Celeste Animal Crossing amiibo. Very good. And then the fifth and final amiibo that I tap in every single time I do these amiibo taps is the Mifa amiibo that I purchased when I purchased this game. All right, that's amiibo stuff out of the way. I know people don't really care about that, but I feel that like it's important that I tap in my amiibo every single day. And I figured that I may as well do it as part of the recording so you can actually see that I'm gaining supplies and not cheating the game. And anyway, for Tateno, this next mission is called Each Step Like Thunder, and Link and Zelda have to be used with the third character of my choice. The third character of my choice shall be Mifa, and because I just gained access to more weaponry, what do you say I go ahead and upgrade my characters a bit? So, Zelda... Ooh, I like this. You can have that. We gotta make Zelda a whole lot stronger, because every time I play as her, I always feel super weak, so she needs all the power I could possibly get. So, boom. Thank goodness for that. Mifa, you seem already powerful enough, but you've got a lot of weapons that I could fuse and sell. So let me sell a couple. Oh yeah, you got a, hot, a lot of high resell weapons. Very well. So, do those. That ought to be good. Alright, that gives me an extra thousand rupees to play with. And I could sell this one for an extra 400. There we go. That's plenty of rupee-age. Now we need to fuse these weapons and make Mifa super duper powerful. So boom. I've already powered up Link enough time, so now it comes down to powering up all the other characters, and in this mission, if I'm going to be using Mifa and Zelda, then it makes the most sense to power up Mifa and Zelda. Alright, we're going to keep it going. How far can I go? It looks like this is going to be... That's going to... Ugh, I'm only 15 rupees short. I can probably... I can probably, like, sell one weapon and have enough to level it up again. Let me see. So, that that's already a pretty decent amount powerful, but I want to get all the power. Uh, so, Link, your your Master Sword is already maxed out. You have a bunch of weapons that I'm not really using. I Look, I acknowledge that I probably should be using other weapons. There's benefits to each one, but I've just been putting all of my time and effort into the Master Sword, so it makes sense that I should keep using the Master Sword. But it's maxed out right now, and while I could raise the max level limit, I've never done that before. What's, what's the catch for that? That wouldn't require... Ah, I don't have enough rupees. I need 475 rupees and a bunch of supplies, it seems. So, we're not going to do that right now. I might do that after the mission, or maybe when I start the next video and do a bunch of side quests. But as it stands, I think I've made Link, Zelda, and Mifa plenty powerful. If I can level up Zelda once or twice... Oh, 485 rupees. Well, that's as good as she's going to get without me selling more stuff. But that ought to be fine. The recommended level for this mission is 47. She's definitely at least that. It's just that she's so weak in comparison to my other characters. That's why I don't play as her that often. So what I might want to do with regards to food is I might want to eat at least one food that will buff her. There's one that powers up Sheikah rune damage. Yeah, this. So yeah, those are my options, 15 and 35. Then we better do 35, right? So Sheikah rune damage boosted, great. And then I'm not desperate for more rupees. But I probably, I probably am going to fight a bunch of enemies, so if, the, if there was ever a time for me to try and get a bunch of rupees thanks to the bonus from a food, maybe now would be the time. So, Link, Zelda, Mifa, bonus rupees, bonus Sheikah rune damage. Let's dive on into it. Working together, they successfully recaptured the Citadel. Shortly thereafter, they found Robbie who had barely escaped from the laboratory after the Yiga clan infiltrated its walls. The party soon learned from Robbie that Pura had also escaped the laboratory, making her way to Fort Hateno in Dekluda. The stronghold, however, was besieged by enemies. Link and the others departed promptly for Fort Hateno, but who would quell the ceaseless onslaught of guardians pouring onto Hyrule Field during this time? You needn't sound so defeated. Together we'll put a stop to it. But how? Look how many there are!
I would likely have died if it wasn't for your courage. But I'm still here, and Naboris still has its pilot. I'd wager nothing can stop us. We will triumph. Hm. Exactly. Well then, let's begin. Will you take my hand? Ah, here we are. It was only a matter of time before I piloted Urbosa's Divine Beast again. Alright, yeah, I, I just recently did Mipha's Divine Beast, and Rivali's Divine Beast, and Daruk's Divine Beast, and now here is Urbosa's! In the rain! While everything's on fire, I gotta admit, it's a different change of pace than when I last used her Divine Beast in the desert. But let's move it to it, here we go. Destroy everything, there we go, just holding down L, it automatically fires those counter shots, I like it. I just have to be mindful. Urbosa's Divine Beast might be the most overpowered when I actually try to compare all of the abilities of all the Divine Beasts together. Because hers can do this. There you go, I'm already at 1,000 KOs, which is, a, which is a lot faster than I got to 1,000 KOs with all of the other Divine Beasts. I'm already at 2,000 KOs, even better. But the, at the cost, I can't even speak properly. Is my commentary making sense? Her Divine Beast is the strongest. It's got these wonderful counter attacks. But it's at the cost of her having a little bit of a power gauge in the top left corner. And I gotta make sure that that doesn't run out. So using this attack rather frequently seems like the strategy to go with. I'm already at 4,000 KOs and my special gauge is not even full. That's crazy. Oh, and trying not to run it out. There we go. I, I'll, I will get pretty darn close to running out my little power gauge here. But I gotta make sure it does not run out completely. So I've gotta, I've gotta keep tabs on it. For now, defeating the Guardians is fairly easy. I am thankful I have not even taken a hit yet. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything. But yeah, previously I used to say that Mipha's Divine Beast was my favorite. And it might still be. But Urbosa's Divine Beast, it just lends itself well to these types of missions. It's very fun just to rain lightning down on everything and power through stuff. Hers is the most well-equipped to deal with these missions, I feel. So... Urbosa's Divine Beast might be my new favorite. So far, I'm enjoying it. I like her counter attacks. I like the lightning strikes. I like how powerful I feel. I love this little dome range attack. That's pretty fun. All right, there we go. Now I can use my special. I just have to defeat 30,000 enemies. 30,000! Let me make that clear. I don't think any missions ever require that I defeated 30,000. That's rather humorous, if nothing else. And the fact that I'm already at 11,000 shows that even defeating 30,000 enemies should not be too difficult. I've got five minutes to do so. I'm already a third of the way there, and more enemies are still spawning. Okay. Well, it helps that there's these bundles of a thousand enemies at a time. Yeah, look at that. I'm already at 13,000. Wonderful. Wonderful. There we go. All right. Oh yeah, we got a couple. We got a couple more right there. Crushing it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Ur Urbos's Divine Beast might be my new favorite, and I. I really hope that going forward, if I have to do more Divine Beast quests, this might be the last one. There might be one or two more for each character. I don't know, but I, I feel like I'm nearing the end of the game. Even my time with these Divine Beasts is coming to an end. But I feel like if I ever have to play as Rebosas again, that I will enjoy it. Hey, what's going on? If I take you down, there we go. Easy peasy. All right, no, no, no. We're doing this so I can spam the invincibility frames. If I can get through this Divine Beast quest without taking a hit, that would be preferable. I don't have to get through it without taking a hit. I don't think it's like I get a bonus or something. We're making it work. Oh, hang on. I, I used up too much of my meter. There we go. Now I can go back to rapidly pressing the button. Easy peasy. Although that's actually a good point. Normally when I'm playing as the other, other Divine Beasts, I'll hold down the R button because it just rapid fires. This time I'm individually pressing it each time so that I can ensure that I'm focusing on the proper locations without burning my meter like I just did there. All right, hang in there, hang in there. Nobody's launching too much at me. I've still got full health. And I can rush through stuff. I can do this. Yeah, that's more fun. That's more fun. I can do that while my little lightning gauge resets. Is that what I should be calling it? Lightning gauge? Well, that's what I'm calling it now because that just sounds cool. All right, let's do this. Take out all the Sky Guardians. Strike them down with literal lightning strikes. Very good. Oh, no. Now I'm taking hits. Well, so much for my perfect record. But that's okay. I've got a special gauge to hopefully wipe you all out, and thank goodness they take out the Sky Guardians in one hit. Look at that. That's actually quite satisfying. Oh, that's so that's so good. We're already at 22,000. Okay, so I've got some work to do. I've got 8,000 more enemies to take out. I just gotta make sure I keep going to the proper bundles of enemies. If I can take out all of these Sky Guardians in the process, that'll make this whole mission a whole lot easier. 
There we go, 24,000. Very good, very good, very good. Alright, ah, uh, I guess I should focus on these Sky Guardians, huh? Okay, I'm counterattacking, I'm counterattacking, come on. Come on, I can't just hold down the L button forever! I would like to attack normally at some point. This is too much, I might just have to take the hit. Alright, well, I mean, it is helping. I can't just do this forever, though, come on. There's too many of them! Fine! I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take the hit, alright? I didn't take any damage up to this point, and now I'm just gonna take you all down like that. That's much better! Whoa! Yeah! You know I did something correctly when the frame rate starts dropping. In other games, the frame rate dropping would mean you did something incorrectly, but in this game, no, I took down so many enemies, we're dropping frames. There we go, we're good. Alright, 4,000 enemies to go, 3 minutes to do so. I have been slowing down with regards to how many enemies I've been defeating at once. That's okay. As long as I've got this attack, I'm good to go. Cool. Woo! -wee! Look at that frame droppage. It hurts. It hurts, but we're almost there. If I use this special, hopefully I can wrap things up. There should probably be about 3,000 enemies in this general vicinity. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take out some Sky Guardians. Oh, that's it! That actually is it. If the characters are talking in the lower left corner, that means I've progressed onward with the plot in some fashion, and the game's not letting me strike down any more lightning bolts. So... I've defeated 30,000 enemies, and even though there are still thousands and thousands of enemies on the map, the game will not let me take down anymore because this Divine Beast quest is completed! But we're far from done with the entire chapter here. That was only the easy part. Now I gotta play as Zelda or something. Give in, Bosa and Riju took control of Varnagoris, working to stem the never-ending flow of Guardians. Taking advantage of the opening Obosa had provided, Link's party began their assault on the enemies surrounding the periphery of Fort Hateno. Let's move it to it and oh, okay that is a big map with a lot of malicious appearing points on it though there's these little red circles that indicate these smaller enemies and then yeah there's a lot of bigger red circles that I assume indicate more powerful enemies such as guardians and maybe moblins that was a lot and I've got to aid these Hylian captains well I can do that this mission wanted me to play as multiple characters fine then I shall play as multiple characters, and Link has to be one of them, that's A-OK -okay with me. I would probably play as Link anyway, so here we go. Alright, and then we do boom, boom, boom. Now I don't have to knock off your hexagon slices! Oh, but you did not hit me, very good, very good. Alright, so we'll do this again. 
Boom. Then we'll go for a weak point smash, and then this ought to finish you off. Boom, baby. Easy peasy. All right, that's just one point of, of three. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff I got to do on the map. All right, you go over there, and maybe Mifa. Mifa and Zelda, I feel, should stick together. Link can handle himself. I just, I don't know that I can solo a section of Zelda. I probably can as Mifa, but Link is, is, is powerful enough to definitely solo a section. All right, this Moblin. Already took some damage at some point. Great! Then I'll deal even more damage! I guess these Hylian captains do occasionally do something after all, as they did that little bit of chip damage to him. Now here's hoping I can knock off the final few hexagon slices right here. There we go! And just like that, we got the weak point smash already! You know, maybe this mission won't be so bad. Maybe I will actually be okay. Now, I've still got... I've still got plenty of enemies to defeat so I can fill up my special gauge almost immediately, so that's not a concern. I'm just concerned about those moments where I actually do have to switch to Zelda or Mifa. That's the part that's gonna make me very, very nervous. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go after this electric whiz robe. Golly, man! I'm gonna go after this electric whiz robe because I realized I didn't have any electric rod juice, so I may as well get some. If this mission is offering electric energy to me, I may as well use it. I may as well take advantage of the opportunity, you know? I've got, I've got time! I'm moving along, I've already aided two Hylian Captains, I'll aid the third in just a moment. There we go, boom, weak point smash. And save of the day, give me that electric rod juice, that could save me later. With all those big enemies appearing on this map, that <laughs> will probably be a lifesaver later on. Okay, we're good, where's this third point? I'll just have Link go on and do the job. If Link can just solo this entire mission, that's great. That would, that would be great if I could just do the entire thing as Link. This is a friggin' Octorok. No, thank you. Oh, I also just got another apple. Oh, hey! How you doing? Alright, let me do this. Okay, that should deal a decent chunk of damage to you. Alright, that gets your hexagon slices to appear. I should be able to get two slices off of you. With stasis, that might bring me up to three. There we go. Ooh, four! Even better. Alright, and then I've got my next special ready, which I might hang on to. Oh, I'm using it now. <laughs> no, I, I have to use it now. Alright, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And then I should be able to get this other hexagon slice off of you without using stasis. Alright, that should bring me to about halfway through your health bar. Very good. I don't want to have to use an elemental rod on you, so hopefully I can get through the rest of this fight just using my pure skill. Right, your weak point gauge is not yet showing. Oh, but that'll that'll be handy. Oh! I didn't need to stasis all of these enemies beside you, but I will gladly take it. There we go! Nice! Oh, there's some slowdown there. We're getting it. Okay. And then that's already... Four hexagon slices, so I was able to do that without the assistance of using stasis while your weak point gauge was out. Oh, freak, it hurts so much! Darn it, no, we're getting these last few hexagon slices off of him. Alright, let's go. Come on, we're going straight for that weak point smash, alright? There, we get a little bit of extra chip damage in. Now we do the weak point smash that probably won't finish it off. Not just a little more. Ugh, fine, you know what then? I'm gonna switch to another character so Link doesn't freaking die here. Alright, there we go, let's get it. I'm going, I'm going, and... Oh, whoa, no, no, frick! The whole point of me switching to another character was to have a clean slate! Ah, it does so much, man. All right, you want a stasis counter? You got it. Boom. All right, now I gotta go in and finish this off, and let's get those aerial attacks, because those deal more damage than ground-based attacks. Ugh, but it really just goes to show how much more powerful Link is than Mipha, because Link got four hexagon slices off easy-peasy. Mipha had a hard time even getting three. There we go, at least the Lionel is down. Good. Alright, I guess since I'm already playing as Mifa, perhaps I should use this opportunity to fill up her special gauge. Oh, what is it now? Guardian's on the move? Oh, good. Okay, Mifa, I'll save you for later. Back to Link. I know Link can fill up his special super quickly. He's already got one gauge on standby. I'm gonna go ahead and claim this territory real quickly. I may as well even use my special gauge right here, right? I, look at all the enemies on the map. I don't think I'll have a problem filling that up again. So boom, let me take you out real quickly. You big old bacoblin you. All right. Oh, look at all those hexagon slices go down. But it was not. I was not quick enough to get that last slice down. Thankfully, some bombs will do the trick. Okay. You do this. I've got added Sheikah rune damage because of that food that I ate before the mission. So my bombs will deal even more damage than they already do. Alright, so we need Zelda to go to this point, we need Mifa to go to this point, and then I'll just control Link and I'll get him over there manually. Alright, let me, let me just, darn it, come on. Get a, get a move on here. Okay, if I can fill up my special gauge along the way, that is preferable. There's just, there's just already a lot of stuff on this map. There's a lot to deal with. 
Oh boy, all right, yeah, but you know what? I am filling up my special, that is good. Oh, look at all the guardians here, yep. This is why I switched back to Lake. All right, if I can get my special to hit multiple of you guys, that would be great. I should knock down half your health bars for both of you because I'm using the Master Sword, right? Here we go, come on, come on. I should focus more on the Sky Guardian, but as long as I take one down, it should be easier for me to focus on the other. Okay, come on, come on, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the Sky Guardian then. Okay, weak point smash. That should finish you off, and then I'll go after this Grounded Guardian right beside me. Boom, done. Good, 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 good. All right, and then there is you. Yes, there is, there is you. Okay, then there's this weak point smash. And then there's another Sky Guardian, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. In hindsight, maybe I should have hung on to my other special gauge. Oh, please, please don't do this. All right, here we go. Take them all out. Tornado Uprising, slash you in, the, in your little eye a couple times. Oh my god, it hurts! Okay. I thought by using stasis on you, that would grant me an opportunity to stun you a little bit. Okay, there, 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 there. We gotta make you go all loopy. Now we do this, and now I hopefully knock off your remaining hexagon slices. I go in for a weak point smash, and that takes you out. You better not make me use up all my apples. Hey! I'm pressing X, there we go. Thank you. Alright, take out this guardian. Boom, baby! Alright, guardian's done, but I suspect this mission is far from over. Oh, oh, I was just trying to take out some more enemies, but a tree was blocking me! <laughs> Your thread will be cut here, Your Highness. <laughs> Impossible! Does that mean that Zelda's gonna be super duper powerful now? She's already got a different moveset. Wow, that's that's pretty neat actually. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Alright, I'm just I'm just kinda mashing buttons to see what works. Yeah, it looks like she's got a different moveset, which is really, really hype. I mean Link can have different movesets depending on what weapons you use. So if Zelda just has two different movesets, I am I am all for it. Alright, now let's just take out Water Blight Ganon real quickly. Why the heck not? Alright, come on, come on. I gotta admit though. Well, I am glad that she has a new moveset. I'm not quite understanding this. I'm just pushing the buttons and then, like, the enemy in front of me is just glowing. Whatever. Let's give Zelda her moment to shine. Her literal moment to shine because she is, she is glowing. Alright, I'll figure out her moveset in due time. With that said, even though she appears to be more powerful now and have a different moveset, I might still resort to using Link. But she does have nearly full health in contrast to Link. And I'd rather not have to keep eating up all of the limited amounts of apples that I get on these missions. Let's see. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. This mission is still far from over. Oh man. Okay, well. 
Does Zelda have some sort of advantage toward these enemies, or was that just for that cutscene? I guess we'll see in a moment. I figure Link is more powerful toward these enemies because I'm using the Master Sword with him, right? That's the whole gimmick. All right, and speaking of, let me go ahead and fill up my special meter. That's what I was trying to do before that gloriously animated cutscene played. There you go. Let's defeat all these guys. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. All right, and some extra rupees. Sure, why not? All right, so you guys... I don't want to do this. I guess you guys should take care of the enemies at the top of the map while Link maybe takes care of the enemies at the bottom of the map because I am fairly confident Link can take care of this himself while Zelda and Mipha should probably stick together. Alright, let's go. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to make my way toward the bottom of the map. I've got one and a half special gauges ready. And we've got this obnoxious Ice Guardian. Let's just, okay, let's do a couple slashes. Let's use my special on it. You're not the enemy I have to take out, but I figure if I do take you out, one, I'll get some more Ice Rod Juice, and two, I don't have to worry about you tracking me down and fighting me later. So let's get those Hexagon Slices off of you. Woo, you are a bulky boy, aren't you? All right, let's get that last slice off of you. Weak Point Smash, you are done for. It does, however, mean that I need to fill up my Special Gauge again. But I'll get it. Okay, Ice Guardian down. Very good, very good, very good. Looks like there's a bunch of enemies over here. I cannot maneuver my way through this map if my life depended on it. And let me tell you, it, with regards to this mission, not just my life depends on it. The life of pretty much everyone in Hyrule depends on it. So I better figure out how to maneuver through this map, huh? All right, let me get these. Yeah. Okay, my special gauge is already full again. That's good. Bunch more enemies up here. But that's not the right way I need to go. I'll save those enemies for a different time. For the time being, I'm actually benefiting from using the zoomed out map right now. Usually I prefer to use the zoomed in map so I can better see the routes I need to take, but I'm actually just running into walls and guardians and tree branches and stuff. Here we go, here's a bridge. Okay, now I can use the zoomed in map. Now I feel okay. Alright, you know what, Octoroks, you wanna tussle? Cause we can tussle! Let's go. Okay. And then we got some Lizalfos. Hey! Guys! There's too many of you. I mean, I'm all for filling a special gauge, but... Sometimes I just need to focus on the bigger enemies, alright? It's not as if I'm timed, but the sooner I complete this mission, the better. And the way I can complete this mission the fastest is if I take out the biggest enemies the fastest. Alright, so an Electric Guardian. We're just fighting Guardians of all elements on this mission. And that means that after I'm done with this mission, once I move back into more side quests, I'm gonna fight all of these Guardians on a regular basis, right? Oh boy. So, in other words, I better get used to these things. But, doesn't mean I have to like them, so I'll just take them out. There we go, weak point smash, and hoppa! There we go. Alright, just, just, just get him before he becomes right side up again. And if I break these boxes in the background, then that's a bonus on my end! Okay, there we go. And I got it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Good, good, good. Okay, now I- oh, hang on. Do I have to activate this machine as well? Okay, good. I just have to make sure I do have another special gauge ready, because once I head over to the next yellow point on my map, I'm probably gonna have to fight another elemental guardian again. Alright, so what's the deal with this thing? Oh, I mean, I guess it already went. The, the mission was just to capture the outposts, right? It says I'm already at one out of four. Okay, I guess that was just a story beat. I don't have to do anything with it. That's just why I'm capturing the outpost. Okay, so Linky move over there automatically. Zelda, Mipha, how you doing? You seem a little busy. Oh my goodness, I just walked like two steps and lost half my hearts. Okay. Mipha, you doing much better? Oh my god! I can't do anything. That's it. I'm using this. This mission gave me ice rod juice. I'm freaking using it, okay? Let's go. Come on, I need I need a feeding that ice guardian was a good idea. Alright, weak point smash. Will that take it out? Link can usually take it out. I don't know about Mipha. Ugh! Oh, nope, nope, that's a no. Alright, but the good news is I can use my special and at least recover a few hearts. There we go, alright. Not much better, but it's it's progress, okay. I used up an ice rod, I used up my special, and you still got about a third of your health remaining. The only plus side to all of this is that I've chopped all of its limbs off so it can't move anymore. Alright, come on, Guardian. You, you gotta work with me here. I do this, let's just speed up the process a little bit. Very good. Weak point smash. We get that cool animation of Mipha defeating a Guardian. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm glad that worked out, but to be honest, I am not looking forward to conquering another outpost with Mipha and Zelda. And I really don't want to have to use my apples, but I have to balance that act of stubbornness with resource utility. Alright, well, anyway, that's just a regular old guardian, right? That should be a lot easier, so Mipha and Zelda, please make your way over there. And then Link, alright, here we go, buddy. You ready? Let's go. Okay. Am I going to have to fight an ice guardian? There's ice keys out here. Yeah, it's an ice guardian. Okay. So using up that ice rod was not so bad because it gave me ice powers. Oh, I could have gone for stasis there. I always notice it too late. Whatever. 
All right, we got some of its limbs sliced off, and I can always use stasis around here to try and get more of those hexagon slices off. So here we go. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. This is exactly why I wanted my special gauge to be full before I entered this location. All right, so boom. Take out the Ice Guardian. Good. Yeah, see, Link had no problem taking out that outpost. We almost had a slight problem, but no, we're, we're good now. We're good now, okay? So boom, more enemies defeated. Got a bunch of Guardian parts. Very good, very good, very good. All right, I guess I'm now going to want Link to come up toward maybe there, toward maybe the center of the map. So, oh god, all right, regular old guardian, I can do this, uh, stasis counter, okay. Well, aren't you silly looking when I use stasis on you? Okay, come on, just gotta deal enough damage to it so I can start taking off some of its limbs so it can't fight me as easily. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, that's only half of its hexagon slices, that's not so good. Okay, bombs, 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 why aren't the hexagon slices going down? I use bombs to knock off the hexagon slices more easily. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't even have to fight this Guardian, but I figure it'll make the rest of this mission a whole lot easier if I do this. Hylian Captain is in a tough battle. I'm going as quickly as I can! Alright. There. And it's not even defeated yet. Okay, but its limbs are off, so I may as well defeat it. There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. At least by having Mipha in this mission defeating Guardian, she'll be more probable to level up, and her leveling up will make her stronger. Alright. You, continue your quest. Link. Sure, fight both of these at the same time, why don't you? Save this territory. All right, there we go. It's a lot, it's a lot. I don't want you to fire your lasers at me. Please, please do not do that. Okay, come on. Oh, it only used stasis on the one! All right, at least I'm getting hexagon slices off of both of you. You're both at that point where your, your weak point gauge is just forever gonna show up. Okay, so we're gonna use this on the fire guardian. All right, it looks like the other guardian maybe wanted to fire laser at me. Oh, frick, no! And I don't have stasis ready in time. Can I defeat it in time? Got it, okay, thank goodness. Sometimes I'm, I'm a little over ambitious when I try to go for that, but thankfully it worked out this time. Okay, what else we got? So Link has conquered that territory, very good. Mifa's got a special ready. Okay, I don't have to defeat you guys, but I suppose I will. I'm not gonna get too much added on my special. Oh, there's two guardians here, of course there is. Woo! Use my special right in the nick of time. Okay, good. Oh my god! Okay. I'm switching to pff, switching to Link, I guess. Link, I guess you're gonna have to go help him out. You're gonna have to hurry though. And then Zelda, you've got full hearts. Now, how strong are you? Whoa! I think I hit the wrong button there. I think I just wasted a stasis. Oh frick! It hurts so much! Oh my god, now I'm down to a quarter heart. Great! Switching to Zelda was the worst thing I could have done! At least that guardian's defeated. Okay. Come on. Alright, so this time I'm gonna press Y instead of X. Oh, I don't really know if that's doing a whole lot. Ah! Okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Ugh, I just don't want to have to waste too many more apples. Come on! It's dealing a decent chunk of damage, thankfully. There! Now the Guardian has been defeated, and I did so as Zelda. I don't like that I'm only at a quarter of a heart, but at least Zelda did some work. Oh, and she's dead! Oh, good! Oh, good! Oh! oh. The game's still going. That's something I wish, is if, a, if one character died, the mission could continue. I feel like all my characters should need to die in order for the mission to be failed, but nope, you can't let one character die. The game is still go- okay, thank you. Tell you what, I'll just keep it rolling. Yeah, I'm right- I'm right back here. So what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't like that I'm only at a quarter heart, but at least I did some stuff with Zelda. Okay. Let's not get poked by a Lizalfos, thank you. Shout out to that one Lizalfos who just was like, <laughs> and I just died. Alright. Oh, switching to Zelda was like the worst thing I could have done though. I'm trying to get used to her new attacks. I guess I like him more than her old moveset, but I was at that point where I was finally willing to accept her old moveset and now it wants, the game wants to switch it on me. Oh, I'm glad she has another moveset and I'm glad she now has her special ready. Okay, so now we go over here. We make our way back and I guess if I press ZR, I power myself up. Interesting. Yeah, I mean that is kind of satisfying to use and Link is here. Okay. So now, Link, you go to the location that I guess is further away, and Mifa and Zelda will now go to this point. And I guess I'm, I guess I can make Zelda go there automatically. Okay. And then I've got, I've got an apple. All right. Oh, does using this form, using this form eats up my special. That okay, understood. So I can either just unleash one powerful special attack, or I can use my special meter to just amplify all my attacks all together. Tell you what. That's a gameplay mechanic I actually kind of enjoy. I think that's cool. I 
probably should not have used up the entirety of my special gauge, but that's fine. There's enough enemies on this map to where if I ever need to fill up my special gauge again, I can do so. Also, I guess that territory has already been conquered, so I can just have everyone go to this yellow point now. Very good. And now I've got a- this is now an escort mission, it seems. I have to help Pura? Okay. Well, then I'll go ahead and tr attempt to do so as Mifa. If I can just fill up my special gauge a little bit, I can just keep healing myself with my special attack. But for now, let's make my way toward the yellow point and just kind of see what I have to deal with, huh? With what shall I be dealing? I've got Mifa on standby. Oh, there's a lot! That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. What if I do this? What if I do that? Okay, 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 okay. You guys need to calm down! The frame drops are kind of, actually kind of messed me up there. Frick, all right, Link it shall be. I try to give another character a chance. It just doesn't work out. All right, let's try ice on you, Thunder Blight Ganon. Here we go. All right, even if it, oh, Frick, right. If I use stasis after I've hit you with a non-super effective rod, it doesn't do much. All right, well, hopefully I can take you out with relative ease. Oh my God, it's too much. It's, oh, thank goodness for this flurry rush. I, I so needed that, oh my goodness. Otherwise, this is way too much. Go get him. Okay. We okay? We're, we're okay. We're okay. Alright. And then there's you. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just trying to help our good friends here. Okay, I don't really care which one I'm hitting as long as I'm hitting one of them. Okay, I'm not... No, no, get out of the way. Okay. Just knock off those hexagon slicers! And then one of them wanted a bomb counter. You're getting a bomb counter. At least this way, I can spam the invincibility frames. Don't know that that did a whole lot. Oh, frick! It's too much. Fighting all four of these at the same time is too much! Thank you, Flory Rush! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh, I keep... I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a couple more of those. Nope, get me away from that. Alright, come on. Ugh! This is what the game wanted, right? This is what the game wanted, this insane, fast-paced chaos while I somehow just dodge everything and counter at the proper time. Tell you what, a mission like this is a lot different than the first mission I ever played in this game. If you compare the gameplay of what I'm doing now compared to the first mission I ever did in the game, I gotta admit, I do look like a much more powerful, much more skilled fighter! Ah! But doesn't mean, I, doesn't mean I'm not falling apart here. Alright, we're gonna switch back to Zelda just for the time being because she has more health. Pura, why don't you get moving? Why do you gotta stand right here? You've got two people that can escort you. Alright, Link, are you safe now? Ugh, I gotta use up an apple. And we're doing this. I don't, oh, it is super effective toward the Guardian. Great! Then I'm using it. Let's go. Get those hexagon slices off. Very good. Take you out, and then I can focus on the Ganon forms. Ah, that didn't even finish you off yet. Ah, that's right, because usually I use my special on you to take you out, right? Alright, here we go. Take its limbs off! Take its limbs off! Now as long- Oh my god! As long as that other guardian just stays back behind that fence, I'll be okay. Alright, I did not use stasis on you at the proper moment, but I should still be able to take you out. There it is! Okay, very good. Now where are the Ganons? Oh, no, do not touch me. Okay, are you the last one? I hope you're the last one. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can probably take you out with chip damage. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god! You're too strong, I'm using up all my apples! No, stasis, alright! Alright, I got stasis at a good time, that'll at least stun the guardian, and I can knock the hexagon slices off of you, Ganon. Right now my- oh my god, what the heck? Oh yeah, cause your counter wasn't stasis, so you're able to keep moving. I just need a little bit of chip damage! There! And I leveled up! What good timing. Alright, now for this guardian! Frick, man! Here we go, come on! Ah. There, take tear its limbs off. There we go. Now it won't move anymore. Okay, I'll have stasis ready in just a moment. I don't want to have to waste my special on you. There we go, just in the nick of time. Now I can do this. Now I can get that last hexagon slice off of you. Now I can finish off this guardian. And I've got two special gauges to spare. Very good. Let's keep it moving. All right. No need to fight you guys. I've already got my special gauges full. All right, that level up was integral. That gives me a full restore. Unfortunately, Mipha is about to die, and Zelda is not about to die, but she's in less than ideal circumstances, and I don't really enjoy her gameplay. But if I use my special here as Link, I can probably even the odds a little bit. There we go! Okay, looks like I hit a little bit of everything. I guess having these blade beams will be handy. Come on, get the hexagon slices off of all of them. There we go! It's a bit crowded in this corridor, but we're gonna make it work. Alright, there. There's my weak point smash, so this Guardian should be out. Very good. 
All right, that leaves a silver moblin and a fire guardian and a Lytle, apparently. It's too much. I'm using my special again. Thank goodness I leveled up just a moment ago. All right. If I have to take you all out. All right, Stasis again. Good, good, good. The Lionel is the toughest enemy here, so I should focus on getting his hexagon slices down. He's not going to be the first enemy I take out, not by a long shot. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, and then the Guardian's locking onto me. Oh, the Guardian locked off of me for a second. Okay, that's handy. But let's take you out right now. I'm probably just going to take you out with chip damage. Very good. That just leaves the Moblin and the Lionel. Flurry Rush! Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Very good. And then Cryona's counter. Very good. All right. Yeah, so earlier I was saying the gameplay that I'm presenting now is a lot more skillful than the gameplay I was presenting in the first part of this walkthrough. So that much is cool. I think I've gotten a lot better at this game, but it's also just a lot to have to deal with. I'm just mashing all these buttons hoping that some combination gets me to the end of this mission. Hopefully after I have to beat this Lionel, that'll be the end. I had to fight Ganon. I had to fight like 40 Guardians. I had to fight Lionels and Moblins. And oh, it all hurts so much. When does it end? Am I going to have to fight... Suga's not his name. What, what, whatever the leader of the Yiga guys here is. Magic dude. I probably have to fight him. Oh my god. It's too much. It's too much. Okay, I got him in the face, which means I have to get this last hexagon slice off. There! Just in the nick of time. Now, this weak point smash won't finish you off, but it'll definitely bring me closer to finally clearing this mission. Nope. We're not dealing with that. Okay, Cryonis counter. Yes. There. Okay. Get hexagon slices off of both of you at the same time. Yes, please. Take out the Moblin. Very good, okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's just me and this Lionel. That I can focus on. That's a whole lot easier than when Guardians and Moblins are also trying to spike me down. Okay, what you got? You wanna, you wanna actually take a swing at me? Come on, go for an attack, okay. There we go, hit him in the face. Let's get it, all right. I can probably get him down to half his hexagon slices removed. Oh yes, very good, very good. Cool, two hexagon slices remaining on his weak point gauge. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh no, he got me! Frick! Oh, I did not need that to happen! And then shooting him in the face doesn't work. Okay, bomb counter, yes! My bombs are plenty powerful, especially since I have that Sheikah rune damage booster. There we go! Alright, one or two slashes for some chip damage, and then this should finish you off. Very good! Boom, baby! Oh, we're still not done yet! There's still an electric guardian here. Ugh. I might have to switch to Zelda, but I think Link's gonna have to be the one to do this. Fire Rod, let's go! This mission gave me fire rods, I'm using it. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not enough. Okay, now we're gonna go for stasis. I just need to deal enough damage to you so that your limbs are off. Let's go. Okay. Not qu Oh, wait. We did get one. No, we didn't get any limbs off. Never mind. Okay, if I do this... If I get one weak point smash, that puts me into prime position to defeat you. So let's go. Okay, come on. We gotta be at, like, halfway through your health, right? There we go! Now the limbs are coming off, and I've got my special. I see no better time to use it than now. Very good. Okay. Now I can defeat this Electric Guardian because we are like three or four hits away from a weak point smash. There we go. Okay. That's the last major enemy at this location, right? Very good. <sighs> okay. But the mission's still not over. Wind Blight Ganon. Yep. I knew there had to be more. Okay. So you guys... Escort pure or whatever over to these other characters or vice versa, whatever link Let's try and fill up your special gauge. You only have a quarter of a heart remaining, but we're gonna make this work I don't think I mean like while it's definitely possible for me to defeat wind blight Ganon without a special gauge I would prefer to have my special ready. So here we go. Let's take them all out All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and there's ice guardians, huh? So is this going to be one of those types of missions where the longer it takes me for defeat, the longer it takes me to defeat the major enemy on the map, the more screwed over I'm going to become because more enemies are just going to keep on spawning. All right, I'm trying to get, I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can. I'm not trying to lollygag here. Not to mention Pura also has a health gauge. So this now becomes a bit more of a tower defense type mission because once Pura's health is all the way down to zero, the mission's over. So I'm going as quickly as I can. It looks like there's some sort of enemy chasing me. What do you want? It's a guardian. Fine! I'll, you, I'll defeat you! I can't have you shooting at me while I'm trying to take down Ganon. Here we go. Alright, we got your limbs off. That's fantastic. Here we go. Half your hexagon slice is already down. Now if I use stasis, I should be able to get the remainder of your hexagon slices down already. The only problem is, now I've already used up my special gauge. So while I'm glad that there won't be an electric guardian chasing me anymore, I need to have a special gauge ready so I can fight Wind Blight Ganon and hopefully wrap up the final chunk of this mission. Because I think that's the final Ganon form I need to fight, right? 
I fought Fire Blight and Water Blight Ganon when Zelda got her special powers, and then I took down Lightning Blight Ganon or whatever. After Thunder Blight Ganon, there we go. Just a few minutes ago, and now we gotta take down Wind Blight Ganon. So there we go, just trying to maintain my distance. I've only got a quarter of a heart remaining, so hopefully you understand that I don't want to get anywhere near another Guardian right now without a special gauge. Alright, come on. Here we go. Boom. Special gauge almost ready. Ah, oh, fine! Do I gotta fight you too? No. Please, I'd rather not. Let me get away. I'm fleeing this fight. Sometimes you gotta know when to bail. There we go. 700 KOs. Good. If I can get a second special gauge, that would be nice. It looks like Pyrrha still has a fair share of her health remaining. That might start depleting sooner rather than later, but it looks like we're in decent enough positioning. Okay. Making my way over to the yellow point. Is it this? I think I'm headed to the proper location. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So an Ice Guardian, I can take you out. <sighs> Could have gone for a stasis counter, though. That's fine. Let's just take you out. Very good, very good, very good. All right. Then we do Tornado Uprising. Half your Hexagon Slice is already down. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. Boom. Nope, not quite your last Hexagon Slice. Good. And I did not use up my stasis there. Oh, still not defeated. Just a few more slashes of chip damage should take you out. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Just a little more. Boom! All right, done. Okay. Getting it. We are getting it. So there. That's That was only half the mission, though. So I guess I have to escort Pura while also making sure that enemies are no longer attacking Fort Hateno. So I guess I was supposed to alternate back and forth between the characters. Mm. I, I want to stick to Link. I'm just so much better as him. I What I need, though, is I need more foods. I need more fruits. I need more apples. I don't have a single apple. Nope, there's no apple in there. There is nothing. Oh, this these are less than ideal circumstances, I'll tell you that. Doing my best! Alright, we got some more Bacoblins here. As long as none of them poke me with a stick, I should be good. Ah! Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Huppa, huppa, huppa! Boom, baby! We're going, we're going, we're going. Okay. There. Alright, what's over here? I've got a special gauge. Oh yeah, right, it's Wind Blight Ganon. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, we're gonna go in and use my special immediately. Alright, and then I'm gonna try to do some extra trip damage as Link. Thankfully, it looks like you only have half your health remaining, so that's freaking awesome. Okay, I did not follow up as well as I hoped I would have, but that's fine. I'll use this opportunity to go ahead and get stasis. That's four of your hex- no, three of your hexagon slices down. Alright, Zelda, you're up. And we're gonna go ahead and use a fire rod on you. Don't know if it'll do much, but it's gonna help. Alright, come on, come on. We just gotta get those hexagon slices down. Just a little more. Okay, you know what? Ah! Okay! I have other elemental rods! Let's try an electric one! Alright, it's not super effective to you, but that's fine. We're using a weak point smash as Zelda against Ganon. Still not enough to take you out. Okay, look, I don't mind finishing this mission as Zelda. I just gotta make sure nobody else dies! Darn it, that one missed! Okay, I've got plenty of rods. Sucks that it missed, but I've got, I've, you know, I've fought all sorts of elemental guardians on this mission so far. Darn it, I'll use them all up if I have to, just as long as I can be done with this mission. I can always get more elemental rods at a different time. For now, this is the, the integral point for me to use them all. Alright, there's the ice rod. Come on, there we go! That should finish you off. Special custom animation of Zelda defeating a guardian. There we go! Ganon is defeated. Is this mission over? Looks like it. That's all the forms of Ganon defeated. That's like an entire wave of guardians defeated. Very good. <sighs> I've gotta be nearing the end of the game if the missions are getting this tough. Oh, the mission's still not over! Oh, man! Okay, yeah, we're still moving. Zelda's only got a quarter of a heart remaining. I don't think I want to play as her anymore. Ugh, all of my characters not in, are not in great circumstances, but at least, at least Mipha can heal herself if I get her special gauge full. So I just gotta make sure I can do that. I have to make sure I can defeat, what, like 300 enemies before I take a hit? Very well. 
I don't know what other tough enemies I'm gonna have to fight, but I do not want to engage with a Moblin or a Guardian. Oh, and a Malice Guardian, good. Oh, uh, I should have known there'd be a Malice Guardian on this mission. I knew we were missing, we were missing something on this mission. Oh boy. All right, we just gotta get your special ready, then we'll go fight the Malice Guardian. We'll use the special on the Malice Guardian, deal a decent chunk of damage to it, and then heal up a bit. All right, so her special is almost there. Almost there. I just gotta make sure I don't get sniped by an Octorok. Okay, there. Good, 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 good. Just keep moving. All right, just keep moving. We got an Octorok eyeball. Nice. <sighs> Where's this Malice Guardian? And is it the last enemy I have to defeat in this mission? Uh, it looks like it's over here. I see some malice over here. Very well. Let's go. I'm going in. Ready? Just gonna go straight for it. Boom. Use this. Restore a few hearts. Deal some damage to the guardian. Boom, baby. All right. And then if I deal enough damage to you, your limbs should come off and then you shouldn't be able to move anymore. You might be a tough boss type enemy, but you're still a type of guardian who is also weak to fire. Had I known that, I would have saved the fire rod for a different time, but it's fine. It's the last elemental rod I had access to. Boom! Ugh. Just need to get your limbs removed. Just gotta keep dealing some damage. Just a little more. Once we get to about halfway... You, yeah, one of your limbs is already off. Ah! Darn it! It hurts so much! I don't have any more fruits! I don't have any more... rods! I've got a stasis counter, thankfully. Alright, let's go. Just keep it going. Alright, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Come on, Mifa, you can finish this mission! Okay, alternate tactic. I am gonna send Link off to go do something. I need Link to just get away from here so that he can easily fill up a special gauge, come back with a full special gauge, and then help us defeat the Malice Guardian. All right, and then, okay, come on. Stasis counter again, sure, just to, just to try to knock off some more hexagon slices. With any luck, I won't need Link's special, but it's, it's looking to be pretty darn tough, and all my characters only have a quarter heart remaining, and I don't have any more apples, so this is my best tactic. I just have to be careful because if I ever switch back to Mifa, I might be in trouble. I'm not really seeing too many enemies on the map. Okay, let's try this. There we go, okay. That at least opens the door for a weak point smash. I don't think it's gonna take it out because it's a big boss type enemy, but that deals a decent chunk of damage. Okay, let's get one or two chip hits in. Good, good, good. Okay, and then we gotta back the heck away. Maybe, maybe Mifa's the way to go. I'm gonna do the strategy I was gonna do with Link, but we're gonna do it with Mifa. Okay. There's a, a big splotch of red enemies up here. Okay. All right, well, yeah, now, now that I'm not looking at the map or now that I'm looking up, I can see them. Okay, drop the bombs down. I can't let a single one of you even poke me. I'm at a quarter of a heart remaining, the lowest I can possibly be, which means any attack that any of you use can deal at least one quarter heart. Just gotta get my special ready. Then I can finish off that Malice Guardian. Getting my special ready allows me to restore three hearts. And that Malice Guardian, when it hit me, did three hearts of damage, so I can at least take one extra hit from it if I get my special gauge full. It's a bit of a cheap tactic, but hey, that's why there's so many enemies on the map, right? So that I can fill up my special gauge and so that I can increase the amount of KOs I've gotten over the course of this game. Okay, let's go. Boom. Tidal wave attack. Love that one. And the Cyclone's pretty good, too. Okay, but I am running out of enemies to defeat. Gotta be careful that I don't get stuck on a wall. That gives them a prime opportunity to poke me and deal a quarter heart's worth of damage. Okay. Every enemy's gonna count. There's you. Oh, I just need like three more enemies. Okay, there's there's isolated red dots over here. Just a little Zolfos, fine. Go get them. Okay, oh, there's a bunch of enemies over here. Oh, but I don't wanna fight the Moblin. Okay, then we're gonna do this. No, I was trying to use that on the Moblin, fine. Whatever, I've got my special, I'm getting out of here. Goodbye, goodbye. No, I do not want to engage. Hopefully that Moblin doesn't follow me. I don't think it will. A Guardian would probably chase me down, but Moblins are slower, so we're gonna use that to my advantage. Oh, where he be, where he be, where he be. Ah, yes, hello, Malice Guardian. I'm coming in, and I'm using this before you can even deal the slightest bit of damage to me, okay? So we do that. Boom, decent chunk of damage. All right, now we switch to Link. You can deal more damage. No, Link, you went all the way back there because that's where I had your arrow locked on to. I need you back in the fight. Okay, in a worst case scenario, I could always switch back to Zelda. And I missed my opportunity to follow up with other characters. Ah, kind of a wasted special, if I may say so myself. I mean, Mipha got some extra hearts. All right, we're gonna do this. Okay, that did a decent chunk of damage. I'm already assuming that Zelda won't get her special gauge full by the time this mission's over. Oh, come on, just a little more! Zelda, you can finish it, come on, there we go! There, finishing a main story mission as Zelda, you don't see that every day, and I guess if there was ever a mission for me to clear as Zelda, 
it's this one. There! Now the game's not actually letting me attack anymore. Now we got that victory title on there. Mission finally over. It took me 29 minutes, 3 seconds. But I got a bunch of rupees for it, and my characters are all close to leveling up, so that might save me later. Whew, yeah, and now we've got some ceiling bows for Zelda for her new type of moveset. Very good. Which means I leveled up her Sheikah Slate for nothing. <laughs> That's fine. I'm glad that Zelda is more powerful and more enjoyable to use. And we've got some more recipes. Material drop rate recipes. That's always handy, and no, I did not use the flail. I'll use that at a different time. Everyone, hear me now. With Calamity Ganon now awakened, here we stand at the threshold of the unimaginable. Despite that, we must not give in to defeat. We must not despair. We must stand and fight! Hyrule wields the divine beasts and their champions. We are armed with the knight whose sword will seal the darkness. And we shall strike with you, you brave soldiers. Everyone, you are mine to lead now. Calamity Ganon will be sealed away forever. The power I possess! Together, standing in strength, we begin our march. Hyrule's fight to rescue all within it is now! Well then, what did you want to tell me? That was a big, big mission with a lot of big plot points. But you know, it was a very cool mission with some beautiful cutscenes. And we're getting to the point where these story-based videos, these videos where I focus on progressing the plot, are starting to become as long as the videos where I focus on side quests. And speaking of, uh, we're about to see a lot of side quests, aren't we? And these side quests, oh, they're going to be tough, and I'm not exactly looking forward to them, but I will knock them all out. Master Koga! I had a feeling he was going to be playable, actually. This was not spoiled to me, I just had a feeling he would he would show up. I, I think it's cool! The plot actually worked itself well into Master Koga joining our side. That's fun! Alright, so that's the next story mission! And now here are all of the side quest missions, and because I now have access to another playable character, that means there's probably going to be two or three side quests that revolve around just him, right? Oh my god, it's so much! It's a good thing that I'm knocking out every side quest I can before I take on the next story-based missions, because if I kept putting them off, I would have to deal with all of these, plus whatever other side quests I put off. Oh, it's just so much. It's just so much. Most of them are supply-based quests, I get that, but woo-wee, that is a lot of side quests. Ugh. Alright, well, that's for next time. That's for me to worry about at a future time. For now... That wraps up this video of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Next time, I'll knock out all of those side quests. Huh. And then after that, I'll take on this next story mission called The Great Plateau. And I am kind of looking forward to this next story mission. It actually seems kind of cool. The plot's getting interesting. But for now, bye bye humans Whoosh!
Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.